Hello, everybody, and welcome to Power to Express. My name is Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you all. And then go ahead and lean into the shot and say hello. Great, and I'll have you guys come to the tops of your mat so you're in the frame. Perfect. Good to have you. Let's get started right away. You can go ahead and press play on your playlist and sit up nice and tall. Now, this morning we'll be doing just a little bit of massage to get started. We'll be focusing on our neck today, kind of the unsung hero of the body. And so just at first to take both hands to your neck and start to just feel into any tension that you have up, down, side to side. Just start to feel in the length, all the way down from your shoulders, all the way up, maybe into the occipital ridge. And to just notice this space. I'll invite you to bring your right hand and just curl the fingers around the back of your neck and take your thumb. I did this this week in a training and it felt amazing. Take your thumb right above your clavicle. So this bone right here, you'll take it right above and push in and down. Start to feel any meatiness right in this area. Good, and then find a place that feels good. Mine is about two inches from the center. Take a deep breath in, press in, and exhale to relax behind the pressure. Maybe dim your eyes and come inside the experience. Start to get long through all sides of your neck. Slowly creep your thumb, maybe a half, half inch up the neck. Press in, breathe in as you exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Again, let's creep up the neck, half inch, press in, inhale. Keep the pressure, exhale, left ear, left shoulder. How does this feel, guys, okay? Okay, good. Let's do it two more times on this side. Inhale, press. And exhale, bend. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And I'll just grab your head with your left arm and pull it away actively. Reach your right hand away from you like you've lost your keys. Active, active, active. And then just roll your chin downward and upward to start to mobilize all of those muscles at one time. Breath is present. Breath is the undercurrent of the practice. It's already begun. And just to come to center and feel how maybe the sides are a little bit different. Let's do the other side. Left fingers around back of your neck. And then just feel in with your thumb. If you have long nails, this might not be a good idea. <laughs> and take your thumb maybe two inches from the inside of that clavicle bone. Start to feel in and down right behind it to where those neck muscles come into play. Push in, big inhale. And exhale to relax behind the pressure for just a few breaths. Drop into sensation and notice how just a small focus on a little bit of sensation can take you away from outside problems in the world into the body. Connect mind into body, kind of like the throat does. And let's just dance up that side scalene muscle, a half inch press in, breathe in. Keep the pressure as you exhale, bend over to the right with your neck. Again, inhale, move up the neck, press in, keep the pressure. And exhale just to expand that tissue. Two more spaces, press, breathe in. Exhale, pull away. Last space, breathe in, press in. Exhale, bend your head over, capture it with your right hand, pull it away, fish for your keys with your left hand, 
And then just some gentle twists of chin upward and downward toward your armpit and maybe up toward the light. From the center. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Today in class, we're focused on really special places, not only in body, but in, in mind and emotions that may have been overlooked or forgotten, the workhorses of our lives that uh, might need our attention, our care, or just a little bit of acknowledgement. So think about a place in anywhere in your body, in your life, in your practice, where you might need to recognize it, give it a little bit of love. Let's dedicate our practice to that. Breathe in. Breath out, hands to your knees. Breathe in, cow pose. Open, look up, stretch the front side of your neck. Exhale, seated cat pose. Round and maybe you rock back onto tailbone. Breathe in, seated cow pose. And exhale, seated cat pose. Last time, inhale, open the throat, the swallowing muscles, the hyoids, right? And exhale, cat in. Breathe in, table pose. Leisurely walk back, spin around. And exhale, tuck your toes under. Press your hips back towards your heels with a straight spine, yes, and just open the bases of your feet. Another place in the body that is really, really hard to give some love to, but man, is it needed. So feel that. You might even sway your tailbone from side to side just a little bit to open up your plantar fascia. How's that feel? Breathe out. Breathe in plank pose. Now this is an express class. So we'll just get the heat going straight away. And I love how there's a lot of dome through the upper back in between your shoulder blades. But can you counteract that a little bit with heart pulled forward and a slight smile upon your face? <laughs> there's a way to touch the forgotten places inside the body. Right, The places we might not even know need a little bit of love. And it's through that tremor. It's through breath. It's through blood flow, shape, change, all of these things. So when you start to feel that little bit of shake, it's intentional. We want that shake. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Continue to breathe here. We've done all of this work to open up our neck. So use it as this long lever to open up your back muscles. And I'm really sad to say that the kid from Jerry Maguire was a little bit off. Most of the time, the human head weighs about 11 pounds. Three pounds of that is brain. And we can use that to our advantage in our yoga practice. Take a breath out. Breathe in. Right leg comes up and back. As you exhale, bend your top leg, open it up, and just breathe. Use your body weight to your advantage. Let your head go again. Relaxation is a skill we need to learn. And then just let this body weight of your top leg precipitate a stretch. Breathe out. Breathe in, three-legged dog. And exhale, downward-facing dog. Breathe in, left leg illuminates this time. Lift, exhale, bend, twist, open, and just stay for a couple of breaths, noticing asymmetries. I'm feeling this is a long downward facing dog hold. Can you kind of pour? that uh, pressure into the fingertips, almost like syrup dripping over pancakes, it comes down into the fingers as well. Breathe out. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, now look forward, and exhale, ragdoll pose. We'll take a beat here. We'll make it really luxurious. 
the other night I was on Amazon and I saw a yoga hammock, you know, these aerial silk looking things that you can hang in and stretch in. And I put it underneath my deck and I was doing ragdoll pose in this very position, but with the silk holding my hips up. And this is how effective ragdoll pose is after just, I'd say a minute, minute and a half, my bun was in the mulch and I had all these bugs and all these leaves inside, inside my bun. But it just goes to show how nice it is for spinal decompression. It's not a crappy hammock, right? None of the fabric gave out. It was literally me pouring over this material. Take a breath in. Exhale, take your left hand to your right shin. And breathe in, ragdoll with a twist. Breathe. Maybe a little bit of movement or stillness. What calls to you today? As we get into the throat, you'll notice that we get into throat chakra, center of truth communication, but it's also about listening communication, right? So to listen into the body and what it needs. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, release, switch out your hands and breathe in opposite side. Continue your breath as you practice a little bit of halfway lift through your upper body. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Push back with your tailbone as you push forward with your head. Take a big breath in and exhale, melt. Gather your ankles underneath you. Breathe in mountain pose. And exhale, side stretch to the right. Breathe in mountain pose. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Breathe in mountain. And exhale forward, fold. Listen carefully now. Breathe in standing split. Your left leg goes high behind you. And exhale, low lunge. Let's do my favorite stretches. Breathe in, straighten your front leg. Look back toward your navel. Exhale, lunge all the way in, back knee to a hover. Good job. Breathe in, straighten, straighten, straighten. And exhale, sink forward and down. Last time, breathe in, straighten, look back, release head. And exhale, lunge in a lot. Breathe in, three-legged dog, pick it up without a sound. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. For a little bit more heat, maybe back foot stays lifted. Breathe in, upward facing dog, open up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, your heels will come high. Exhale, forward fold. Next trip through here. Breathe in for halfway lift. And exhale for forward fold. Breathe in mountain pose. Here's a change. Exhale, vertical twist to your right. Breathe in mountain. Exhale, second side. Breath in mountain. You get longer every time. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in right leg high behind you. And exhale, low lunge. Same stretches, different side. Inhale, lengthen and look back. Exhale, push forward and down, just like a rocking horse here. Breathe in, straighten, straighten, straighten. And exhale, push forward. Does that feel good? I like this one. Breathe in, straighten. And exhale, sink in a lot. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Left leg comes up. And exhale, chaturanga. I say this every time, but I don't do chaturanga anymore. I do high plank to up dog to keep spinal, shoulder, and hip mobility. And then there's downward facing dog. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. And exhale, fold in deeply, let go. Breathe in, mountain pose. And exhale, drinking bird, ha, breathe. You'll sit down, Sarah's a great example. And yes, we're all gonna fall at some point today. So let's put our egos in a tiny little box and off to the side. Pick up your heel and just feel the shake go through every little fiber of your being. Let's take our chest a little closer to our thighs. Little closer, little closer. Yes, we wanna be the cutest little birds ever. Breathe out. 
Breathe in, single leg, mountain, left knee up. And exhale a balance pose that makes you happy. Yeah. You don't get that, that choice often, do you? Now, here's the cool thing about today. As we flow, you might pick a different posture for every time we come into this. And you'll just kind of listen to the body. It's a practice in listening, which is a huge part of this throat chakra communication that we try to cultivate. Take a breath out. Breathe in single leg mountain. Exhale, full airplane pose. Good luck. <laughs> Bring your sense of humor with you. <laughs> yeah, and I love this. So Maria brought blocks. Sometimes I'll just bring my hand to a block just to kind of make sure I've got that good posture. Heart shines forward. Breathe out. Breathe in, standing, split, pause. Turn your fingers toward the back of your mat and walk them back toward the back of your mat, almost as though you want to kiss your shin. Imagine your shin is the cutest thing you've ever seen. You want to give it a nice peck. And then memorize this pressure through your fingertips. You're going to need it in just a little bit. Breathe in, breath out, Shiva squat. Continue to breathe. What a great week for me not to do the flow, right? <laughs> Got these beautiful ladies. You can do the Shiva squat for us. And you'll notice that there's lots of different ways that you can do it just by looking at them. Where's the breath? Exhale. Breathe in, standing split. And exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, reverse triangle. And exhale, bend your right elbow for a tricep stretch. And on your inhale, look back and smell your left armpit. Yes, dial your chin down. This is a neck stretch in disguise. So as much as I want this to be about the tricep, and it probably feels good to Sarah S. after she just taught sculpt, it's also about, about these neck muscles that we don't normally get to. Breathe in, reach back. And exhale, extended side angle. Breathe here, come forward and down. This one I like to go about 70% into on the first pass. Really just test the tissues, let them be able to let their guard down, warm up just a little bit. Show them the blueprint of what we'll be doing so that they feel as though they can dance into them a bit further as we flow. Breathe out. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Continue your breath. Again, where your chin goes dictates what muscles turn off and on. And spine should always be congruent from tailbone all the way up to skull in some sort of linear, spacious fashion. Breathe in, exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in totally and completely. Look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. So there's one round. Let's do the other side. Breathe in, lift your heels. And exhale, arrive at the top of your mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. Exhale, drinking bird. Let's pause here and get as low as we can. As low as we can. Hips maybe down even toward heels. We're going on an adventure. If we have our ego in a box, <laughs> we can do things to be investigative. Take an exhale. Breathe in single leg mountain. Right knee. And exhale, yogi's choice. I always like to kind of observe what people choose to do. Figure four has been popular this week. I've had a couple people grabbing their foot, extending their leg. Get real crazy with a little twist, single leg mountain. Take a breath in, single leg mountain. Exhale, airplane pose. Good luck. Stick your gaze. I had someone in an earlier class ask, where does my gaze go during this? And the question for, ev or the answer, excuse me, for that in every single posture is at one thing, just one thing, and you use that drishti or that gaze as a tool, you start to look through it. Breathe out, 
Breathe in, standing, split. As we take a pause here, we dial fingertips backwards, straighten our arms, and let this deepen our fold. So you should feel a really, really nice stretch on your standing legs backside. Breathe in, breathe out Shiva, squat. That undercurrent of breath comes with you. You feel your life force, it's not hindered. If it ever is, you back off a little or a lot. Breathe out. Breathe in, standing, split as a stretch. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, reverse triangle. Exhale, tricep stretch. Breathe in, chin down toward right armpit. And stay to breathe. This can sometimes feel as though the energy lines dump down and away into your feet. I would rather have you suck energy up from the earth and just feel that upward trajectory of, of the energy lines here. This is a lot of inner thigh. Squeeze toward midline of muscles here in the abs. Breathe in, reach back a little further. Exhale, side angle, and breathe. How are we doing, ladies? Okay, you look amazing. I know it's geeky, but good alignment just makes me so happy. <laughs> Seen a lot of it at Power Life lately, strong practices. And I know you, you guys at home, I know you've got great alignment because you do the discipline often. You listen carefully. Take an exhale to deepen, deepen, deepen. Breathe in, reverse warrior. This is our last pause before we flow. And I just have to say how important it is to follow your own breath. Okay, so if I cue too slowly, too quickly, and it, and it makes you feel disconnected from your practice, you're empowered to go off on your own. Breathe in your intention. And exhale, chaturanga, your version. Love to see three people in the room. You can see so many different versions all the time. And exhale, downward facing dog, sun salutation, letter B. Breathe in, heels lift. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. And exhale, drinking bird. Really lift your heels and get small. Breathe in, single leg, mountain left knee lifts. Exhale, yogi's choice. Breathe in, single leg, mountain. And exhale, full airplane pose. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, Shiva, squat. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, reverse triangle. No tricep stretch this time. Just reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Come in 80, maybe 90% of the way. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. And these ladies have each been through teacher training. They know the proper chaturanga form. Ah, so great examples if you need some at home. Breathe in, heels lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Breathe in, mountain. And exhale, drinking bird. Breathe in, single leg mountain, right knee. Exhale, yogi's choice. Breathe in, single leg mountain. And exhale, airplane pose. Breathe in, standing split, drop your head. Exhale, Shiva squat, perhaps hands to heart. Breathe in, single leg. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, reverse. And exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Keep your lunge open, your side. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Breathe in, upward. Stretch your chest. It's all connected. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time through, inhale, look. Exhale, come forward. Breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana, half. Exhale, forward, fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. 
Exhale, drinking bird. Breathe in, single leg, mountain left knee. Exhale, yogi's choice. Breathe in, single leg. Exhale, full airplane pose. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, Shiva squat. Let's work on those buns. They're a part of it, right? Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, lunge, land with care. Breathe in, reverse triangle, new blood flow to front thigh. Exhale, extended side angle, make your thigh work. <laughs> Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Is there a temperature change? Yeah, probably. Breathe in, new air. Breathe out, down dog, home base. Last time, inhale, releve. Exhale, teleport forward. Breathe in, half. Exhale, forward, fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. And exhale, drinking bird. Last one. Breathe in, single leg mountain, your right knee comes up. Exhale, hook, sink back. Breathe in, single leg mountain. Exhale, full airplane, pulse. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, Shiva, squat. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, plank pulse. Exhale, table pose. Breathe in, walk your hands forward for puppy heart melting pose and exhale to land chest at a hover or a kiss and just to breathe here for a few moments. I think I'm one out of every 100 people that likes to put my chin on the mat for this posture to open up through the voice box, through your thyroid. There's so many important components that run through this neck, this forgotten space. And I didn't really even pay attention to my neck until the other day I was literally in a training with Tiffany Krukshank and we were doing that muscle massage and I thought, oh my gosh, look at this forgotten space. Imagine, you don't have blood flow through there for eight to 10 seconds, it can damage your brain. If your breath is hindered, it's, it's life threatening. Your thyroid controls all of this, uh, hormonal complex. It's just, it's amazing how much resides here. We have this nerve that runs and glides up and down the vagus nerve that controls whether we feel hectic and stressed out or calm or relaxed. It's an important space. So just to give it a little bit of love today. Let's come into the counter as you inhale, table pose. I'll do this from the side so that you at home can see. We'll exhale into rabbit pose. Hips will come to heels, but this time heels are, or feet are untucked. Grab your heels, tuck in so you have like four double chins. That's right, eight double chins, or eight chins. And then bring the crown of your head as close to the earth and to your knees as possible. Lift your hips up and back. And just stretch, so your hips are up, 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 and you just stretch the space right between the shoulder blades. The neck muscles, now that run all the way up and down the spine, get this huge, huge stretch. Perfect, take a breath in. And exhale, release. Okay, I will give you guys just a little bit of play time. And I thought it'd be fun since we've given our neck some love to make it work, right? You gotta strengthen and stretch things out. So, headstand. Okay, headstand today. If you're friends with headstand, this could be a cool option where you come in from this table or rabbit situation and pull your hands back in space like you did during your standing split. Okay, if that worked for you, press through your fingertips, give yourself some down dog legs. And I like a wall behind me if I'm not so sure. And then a slight tuck of your tailbone back will just bring, bring your legs up to play. Okay? 
So that's if you're already friends with Headstand. If you're not already friends with Headstand, I will cue you through tripod headstand and I want you to do it very, very carefully, okay? And I always give people permission, if this is not your jam, you do something else. And so that goes for you guys, okay? Okay, awesome. If you're coming with me into tripod headstand, awesome. If you're going on your own, go on your own. Come into table pose and then I want the very top of your head on the ground, wall behind you if you're really new to headstand. And to bring the very top of your head to the floor. So. You should feel as though your neck has no curvature in it in the back and that you might be making like one double chin. Draw your hands back underneath your elbows so that you can see every single finger and spread your fingers wide, almost like docks for boats at a marina. Tuck your toes, give yourself some down dog legs. And as you pull your elbows in toward one another for stability, you walk your knees, you bend them, and you might just take them to the back of your triceps. Perfect. Make sure that your hands are helping your head, not too much pressure in the neck. And if you feel okay, you might tip your tailbone back in space to play. Lots of things we can do here, but we want to make sure the breath is present. Okay, so I'll give you guys just a moment to play with that. And there's beautiful things you can do once you get up. You could do those sort of split legs. Eagle legs is a favorite of mine. And this is kind of a tiring situation, I think. So when you are ready to come down, you can see the wrist stretch that, that Sarah S was doing, or my favorite is just, and you can't see on the video there, can you? Is to tuck my hands under and do the front side of my wrists. Cool. Everyone good? Okay, downward facing dog. Express class, right? Come on. <laughs> okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, lift your heels. Exhale forward, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale forward, fold. Breathe in, chair pose. And exhale, prayer twist to your right. Good. Now we're here for just a little bit. This isn't even the deepest posture that we'll get to in a twist. So think about it as a, a gentle intermediate sort of twist here. Lift up and off of your thigh. So feel yourself press up and off. Good. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, standing, split, left leg up. Exhale, Shiva, squat, and sit all the way down inside your shin. Breathe in, left arm high. And exhale, we'll take a nice big old twist to the side. I'd like you to pretend you're in Vogue magazine. So your chin will come straight back to the back of the mat, like you're looking right into the camera there. And the counteraction to this twist is a push down of all of your right toes. Take a breath in. Exhale, come to center and just drop your top knee on top of your bottom knee for cow face pose legs. If this is uncomfortable in any regard, you will actually do figure four instead. Take a breath in and then as you exhale, just walk your weight forward as far as you need to to start to feel that stretch. Shin can release. We not only have strength and stretch and a lot of other qualities of fitness in yoga, but we have compression. And that's such a nice thing that we get in yoga. We can actually use our body weight to compress other tissues. And that's a really, really helpful quality of the practice for cleansing, for new blood flow regeneration, to get out the stuff that's stuck. Awesome. Exhale. Breathe in. Come on up. 
As you exhale, take your right sole of foot to floor and just crawl forward. Breathe in, standing split. And exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, reverse triangle pose. Exhale, extended side angle. Here's the change. Breathe in, star pose. And exhale, horse. We're here for just a bit. And I'm, I'm going to confess something. I don't like horse pose. <laughs> so you have to notice what poses get to you on a physical level and which might challenge some of your, your mental capabilities, your emotions. This week is back to school week, at least for my kids. And I had a teacher in my class the other day, um, Beth, one of our Star Power Life students. And she said, it is so hard. Going back is so hard. I have so much to do. But she said, I have to remind myself, I can do hard things. And that's what this posture teaches me. I can do hard things. Exhale. Breathe in, star pose. Exhale, wide-legged, forward, fold. Just a transition. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, runner's lunge. Perhaps with a quad stretch. I have this fancy towel because I spilled my water earlier right before class. So if I were in this, I might take my towel and really prop up so that I can lasso my foot. And you might be able to see better if I'm to the side, right? So if I lassoed my foot with the towel, that can be tricky just to pull in and back. You can, of course, do that with a sweatshirt or anything you have handy at your house. Take a breath in, breath out, active runner's lunge. Breathe in, side plank. You'll notice I don't care what side you do first. Cool. Awesome, now listen carefully, because this is a little bit different than what I usually teach. On your inhale, raise your top leg up. Bend your knee and land on your foot behind you to flip your side plank. Yeah, with the knee down, that's going to be a nice hip opener there. Breathe in to dial back towards center. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in, urdhva mukha, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, forward, a fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Breathe in, chair. And exhale, prayer twist. Breathe. This is the uncomfortable side for me. I don't know what it is about this side. It's a little maddening, so work with it. You want to keep your left and right hip just in line. Nothing moves, right? There... Then you have somewhere to twist from. And we'll stay here until you're about sick of it. And then we know it's worked. Breathe in. Breath out forward. Fold. Breathe in. Right leg up. Standing. Split. Exhale. Shiva. Squat. And land inside your back shin. Breathe in, right arm high, chest comes with. As you exhale, you take your twist. Just a couple of breaths. Let your hip bones sink down, almost like a plug in a socket into your mat. Again, then you have somewhere to twist from. So deepest twist of our day here. And toward this end, this back half of class, we'll get a little back bendy. So you want to make sure you have those supple sides that these twists give you for those sort of back bends. Breathe in, breath out, center, collapse knee on top of knee. Breathe in, height, and exhale, fold. No destination, you get no prize money. You don't even get a free puppy if your nose touches the ground. It's completely personal where you need to be.
And if you do use a little bit more of that ujjayi sound or the constriction of the back of the throat, it not only heats your body, but it soothes that vagus nerve that runs from our brain all the way down through most of our torso and our internal organs, sending us deeper into relaxation. So just with that gentle vibration through your neck, you can feel that change. Breathe out. Breathe in, come all the way up. As you exhale, take your left sole of foot up, take your hands to the ground. Breathe in, standing, split. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, reverse, last time today. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse, warrior. Actually, let's do star pose. And exhale, horse pose, just one breath. Breathe in, star. Exhale, wide-legged, forward, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. And exhale, runner's lunge, top of your mat. Pause here. I love this posture. Is anyone here adverse to this posture? No, love it. My husband thinks it's a torture device. <laughs> I just like to be sensitive. Imagine you were to have the choice between staying at the Days Inn with their bedding on their beds or the Waldorf Astoria with the bedding on their beds. Okay, I'm trying to illustrate the point. The point is, don't be afraid to use tools. Okay, like a block under your back knee in this can be life changing for some people. Having a towel to have more space to grab your foot can be more luxurious. Treat yourself. Breathe in. Breathe out, active runner's lunge. Breathe in, side plank, Vashisthasana. Second side. Oh, here it goes. We're finishing out the standing series, the active sequence. Lift your top leg up. Breathe in. Exhale, bend, twist, open and flip your side plank, gorgeous. Now you open that front side of the neck. Doesn't feel good for me a lot of the time, but in this position, for some reason, it does. Breathe in, dial back. Exhale, last chaturanga of practice. Breathe in, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come on to your seat. And around onto your back. Awesome, plow pose. And if plow pose is not for you, legs up a wall is what will happen. And I'll just show you, we got two people with legs up a wall and you can't really see Sarah DeSantis over here. So I'll show you right over here what plow pose looks like. Legs curled up overhead. And again, if you have glaucoma, spinal contraindications, high blood pressure, anything of that nature, then you won't do it. We'll just start to go inward a little bit more to let the brain settle. You remind yourself there's nothing to solve, nothing to prove, nowhere to be. And allow the brain to get just a little quieter here. Start to curl down all the way to a flat spine, lower your legs, no rush. If you were in legs up a wall, you might take happy baby's pose. If you were, in fact, in your plow pose or your shoulder stand, your last pose before Shavasana will be fish. Your forearms will come to the earth down behind you. Elbows will pull in next to each other. I like to point my feet. And then a big old back bend. Head hangs heavy to open thyroid. Now, in case you are someone who likes to skip Shavasana, I'm going to sweeten the deal for you. Meditating, focusing, 
produces serotonin and dopamine, which are pretty expensive in street form, I hear. So not only can it cultivate peace and manifest what's important to you, but as you go ahead and fall into your Shavasana shape now, I'd like you to just subscribe and to know that by touching this place inside yourself, this sweet little bit of spaciousness of nothing, of just being, that you're actually doing a multitude of things. So take a deep breath in and an open mouth exhale to settle into your Shavasana. Everything falls away, but maybe your intention or the sensation on the body inside the breath. Allow your jaw to open and for a cooling breath to slide in this way. Really relaxing exhale to wash over you. Take a smile, take a swallow, take a long body stretch. And as you exhale, just bring your hands over your heart space in gratitude. It doesn't matter if we know all the ways that yoga affects us. When we come here for good abs, we also get mental clarity. When you come and trust the practice, you get healing, wholeness. And so thank you for coming to a practice that touches every important place within us, mind, body, spirit, and for being part of this amazing community. Namaste. Okay. Thank you to Maria and Sarah and Sarah. They all teach here at the Des Moines Power Life. So if you look them up in the schedule, you might be able to uh, pop into the, one of their classes or to see them here online. And thank you so much, you guys, for entrusting me with your practice today. Have a great one. I'll see you guys next week.